is running the WAC cars, obviously. General same strategy as every other version we've played, just this time we have a few removal spells in the main deck in uh, Conclave, and we get to uh, try out some of these uh, Ravnica cards. I assume I'm going to whack this actually less than the build we played, and actually less than the Green Mythic build. I don't, I can't pronounce the card's name, I'm not even trying. But I do want to give it a try because it seems neat, and I really, really like this card. I think it's pretty good. I really like this card. I think it's pretty good. Not so big on this card, but still, I want to give it a try. I feel like we could probably find something better than Galta in this build. But this is just a stock 5-0 list. We put no strategy in it. We do have 8-1 drops, though, and I actually think that's really good in this format. I think having access to a lot of one drops is pretty relevant right now. Definitely puts your opponents on the back foot a little bit. They'll probably kill this. Oh, they did not kill this. Alright, yeah, this could be a hard game. I'm not blocking with it, so I guess we're attacking with it. But it killed that one? That one seems worse to me than the one we had access to. We'll go ahead and get this thing. Hopefully they can't kill this. They couldn't. That was good for us. Oh, that was actually a really good draw too. Because now we can play this. Oh, I messed up. It doesn't. It doesn't change anything, but it's still a play mistake. Um, I guess we're gonna kill this one. Just take three here. Hmm. Question is, do I care enough to attack with that? I don't actually think I do. Next turn, I'm going to be able to flower power. These two are going to require blockers and or removal spells. And these two here are going to be 21 points of love. So our opponent's pretty much going to have to get rid of most of their board. Could just attack for 12. That's probably good enough as well. So what happens if we flower power with these six? So he's got to block one here, and then he's got 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. He's only got to block three, so he would have that back. Yeah, we're not uh, attacking with all of that yet. Two cards left in his hand. I think we can send a 12-12. Now that we have an additional blocker that he can't really remove. Uh, maybe this was a mistake. We'll have to see. We're certainly blocking the biggest ones. So if we block these, it's one, two, three. Even if he's got a three point removal spell, four, five, six, seven, we're not dead. That's fine. If he's got double, like, Wizards, Lightning, and Fing, we're dead, but. So you had to have double shock or like wizard's lightning shock. Love math. Math's fun. Math's fun. Math's great. Math's everything we've ever wanted. All right, so I think we actually probably want to go up to the Lyra and friends here. Um, this thing has just a big butt. I think that's pretty good. 
don't think that's good enough. These are probably good enough, and this may be good enough. I'm going to get rid of these in general here. I'll we'll get rid of these two. Though, this may be too defensive. This could just be too defensive to do. Hmm. All right, let's try it. Probably bring the land of else back in on the play. This is a keep, but it's not a strong hand. He's already mulliganed. Apparently I'm lagging bad today. They're, for the most part, mulliganing before I even see their hands now. Or, like, before I even see my hand, rather. If he has a Goblin Chain Whirler, we're going to be in some serious trouble this game. All the way up to the point that I actually am not even going to cast my second uh, Pelt Collector because of that. Okay, so that worked out. Go ahead and get rid of this thing while we can. It's actually a really good card. Pretty happy about our decisions so far. Not too worried about that card. Because now they have to have multiple things to deal with the big daddy. It's just shock. You can't play the card from your hand, friend. Might be a might be a shame concession if they actually have a shock in their hand here. All right, I guess I guess no shame concession. Well, that's pretty lucky. Look how hot they just ran. I still don't even know that they're a favorite to win this game. Even though that was some absurd luck they just ran off. We've drawn about half of our deck as land so far. How? How on God's earth did they just do that? They had double burn spell with just a gamble into double burn spell, and we've drawn more than half of our lands on top into a creature. That's quite literally absurd. Alright, well, I guess we can maybe still draw our thing. And we're dead now. Well, I had no right to lose that game. But it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I think I kind of want to bring these back in and take these out now. Hmm. What would be one more card? I guess we just don't play all of these. They're really not that great. Actually, they're probably pretty good. We can probably cut Silhouettes on the play. I think I'm fine with cutting Silhouettes on the play. Like to play first. Yes, this hand's fine, but it's not great.
Maybe we can't get rid of the flower powers. That's pretty good. I think I would trade this for any one thing they have, but I just can't risk it. It's way too easy for them just to have a removal spell here. Also, I guess I shouldn't be sideboarding out Galtos if it's still it's just easy for us to get this much power in play. We're obviously pretty SOL'd at this point, though. We don't really have anything going on for us at all. He still has four cards in our hand, or his hand. We effectively have no cards in our hand. Like, these cards aren't good in the late game. We don't even have the mana for them. We got nine sources of that in their deck, so... Making this attack, I assume they have a removal spell. I pretty happily trade that with that if I can. Couldn't trade it. I've tried though. That might have been greedy. I was just hoping he didn't have a fourth one. Like, we wasn't going to win if he had a fourth removal spell to begin with. We're, like, way, way too far behind. Yeah. Oh well. I feel like that's a very favorable match for us, but our opponent drew, you know, very well in game two. In insanely well in game two. Like, we would win, from the board state we were at, we would win 99 out of 100 games game two. Hey, Flame Gus, what's up? Game three, we uh, just didn't draw very well at all. It's one of the negatives to having the white in your deck. It's one of the reasons that I said that I think we won't like the white overall. And it was good to see us get punished by the white bright and early in match one. Uh, we'll keep. Another red deck because that's all this format is. More red decks in this format it feels like than they were in the last format. Oh, I miss. God damn it. I don't even want to play now. I'm like over it. I legit don't want to play anymore. I'm so angry at that. Probably went from a basically free win to a very hard win. Oh, does it? That's kind of impressive then. It might not be able to beat this match because of my play mistake. <sighs> don't think we could lose had I not punted. Like I don't I literally don't think there's a card in his deck that can beat us had I not punted. So think about playing this one first just so he couldn't use a removal spell on it. Cause like now if he just uses a removal spell on this I'm pretty sad.
Yeah, I literally don't know if I can win now. I would trade this for this if given the opportunity. I doubt he gives me the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, roughly as I expected. Guess if I'm just better to just do like this. Take eight. Pell, Pell Collector is definitely a good magic card. I punted this game or this game would not be close. I didn't play my Temple Garden on turn 2, so everything I'm doing is a turn slow. I don't like Rekindling Phoenix under deck. I think that's too many fours and fives. Because I think they should definitely be playing Aurelia. That card's not great. Attack with this, I feel pretty good. Attacking with this? It's weird to me. So I'll gain a life and prevent three then? Oh, I'm an idiot. That's a legend. That's a legend. I did not know that was a legend. Oh, cool. I punted this game more than once. But I guess I learned. 
played this game more than once. I had no idea that thing was a legend. The big problem with all of these green decks also is that, like we just can't beat Settle to Wreckage unless we play blue. And the lands aren't there for blue. So even if we win game one, like game two and three is going to be incredibly hard. It's the weakness of these decks. I don't know. I don't read the stories. They block our biggest three, they take five, they're still alive. Oh no, the pill collector tramples. What if I was just lethal last turn because of the trample and I didn't notice? They had to block that. We would have killed them. No, it wasn't lethal last turn. But I guess they win this turn if they're doing this? I want to gain my life streets I'm putting this one here so you can't give this first strike and kill it. I have to be dead if they're bothering to do this, right? Maybe. Oh, yeah. So we're just dead. Maybe they had a kill if I didn't gain this life? I'm not sure. Ooh, got that. Alright, well, you seem good versus that type of deck. You seem good versus that type of deck. So do you, friends. So do you. So do you. And so do you. Hey, it's going pretty good. We just won a game that we had no right ever winning, so that feels good. Anytime you can win a game where you have no right to win it, it feels great. Um, hmm. I don't know what to take out. Like, literally all of our cards seem good. Maybe we can take out some of these. Oh, early 4-4s four seem ridiculous. Yeah, I guess I'm going to cut these. I'm cutting those, I'm going to cut that as well. Just realized I'm really sick to my stomach. That food I ate's not setting well, so might be cutting this short. It's like super hot too. No, oh, can't keep this hand. It's a twenty two land deck. Twenty six if you count those. We just sideboard one of those out.
We're right on time, Lana Werewolf. So what's everybody into today? And by everybody, I mean the three of you. <sighs> Probably a lightning coil, that bro. It's not a lightning coil at all. What fun it is to be us. There's no lightning coil of foot. Well, there's just no way I'm ever blogging. I don't know what's going on over there, but I'm not falling for it, friendo. Just letting the evening run out? Do you have plans? Taste the hate of our still leaf friend. Got a lot of people with still leaf champion this season already. Oh no. What will we ever do when the rekindling phoenix runs wild on us? The heat is the real, yeah. It is definitely hot. You you are not lying. I'm gonna get a planes because they're fun. Bye friendo. Boom. I kind of just hope they play Lyra so we can Vivian and just go on about our lovely day. Everybody chant Lyra. 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 That's five mana. That is a Lyra. Oh, happy days. I go to a Plains be, Or just like a basic land. Get rid of this thing. Playing green white control. Out, out, out you go, Lyra. Can't, can't believe it. Can't believe it's been called. So lucky, man. Stilly friend says, I'm not going to press enter because I'm a nice guy, but it makes me feel good to talk trash. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not pressing enter. There's no reason to get too upset. I get pretty upset from time to time, but I generally don't rant on my opponents. I just go on about our day. I, rant, I get to rant in chat. Like to you guys, so I don't have to rant to our opponents. Uh, we'll keep it. Another red deck. Three in a row. I'm going to collect your pelts. Rip. It's 
Steam comes good. This card's very good. It might be better than my deck. What was Jim Davis playing earlier? Didn't get a chance to look. It does not seem like he's online anymore, so I can't even look now. It's like very hard for us to beat this card. Another land. Might have too many lands in this deck if we're going to play four flower powers as well. Because if you think about it, we're already at six lands and just five cards. I probably should attack because double blocking probably doesn't work, but at least we can kill the goblin this way. I guess if you think about it, if you count Lana Wolf as a land, we have 30 lands in this deck. That seems excessive. I'm not sure why more versions of these aren't running four of this card yet. I don't know why you want to trade this for one of these. That card seems better in a Foreign Leaf here. Oh, cool. More lands. Hmm. It feels like I don't have an option. And again, it feels like this card's better than this card, so... Kind of confusing to me. Again, feel like I have to trade, even though I don't want to, but our life is so low. And we're dead on board. With three lands still left in our hand. Anything with a power and toughness seems fine. I cut one of these. No. I cut one of these. Or Frashing Brontodons might be too many. Like, their creatures get bigger than Frashing Brontodon now. Like, you don't have to worry about Beaumonts and a bunch of little things. So, like, maybe the, maybe the bringing in all the four toughness plans is not the right plan anymore versus the new builds of these decks. It seems reasonable to me. Ew, this card's not good enough.
Uh, I don't think we can keep it. Alright, it's not good, but I guess we're going to keep. If our deck didn't have a white splash, I might have gambled and kept the original six, but if we just draw a bunch of white cards, we lose. The white cards are already not looking very good in this deck. They don't have a double white card in their deck. They have seven cards still, we have two. That feels ridiculous. They don't have Chandra anymore, so it feels safe enough to play this. Like, their big play's probably something like Phoenix. Can't play Lyra. I'm going to try to get this game over with, so I'm actually going to attack here, even though that means they get to attack back for four. Huh. Well, we got wrecked. Well, so much worse than we initially had planned. Oh, I should have blocked that one. That was a mistake. It was a big mistake. Correct. We took a point of damage we didn't need to take and they still have a goblin. So any lands technically lethal? Assuming they don't kill our homie. And they're not killing our homie, so we got that going for us. I don't think we're dead. Not done the math, and I'm pretty sure we're not dead. If we don't get our land, I'm pretty sure we are dead. There's our land. Hmm. I'll take these out on the draw. Which means I'm going to bring this back in at minimum and this back in at minimum. Potentially these.
I didn't expect to win that last game, especially when we started missing lands. Yeah, well, this hand's good. Ish. I mean, still have four lands. It's considerably worse when and if they kill Pelt Collector. Interesting. So I'm gonna play this one. It has the higher upside. If like, if the only thing they have is a two-two. Okay, they only had the 2-2, two -two, so this was the higher upside. Okay, say so trade, we get plus one, plus one like this. We get the plus one, plus one anyway from foreign lieutenant. But like, I think this makes them less likely to block, and I don't want them to block. And we drew two more lands after that opening. Which is horrendous for us. Through a Kindling Phoenix. Generically block it with something. We need one of our things. We didn't get one of our things. We got yet another land. We've drawn no additional spells so far this game. And they had double phoenix versus our no additional spells. Unfortunate. Felt pretty good about this game until, you know, our opponent played a million things and we drew no more things. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six ground blockers. I literally can't. So this game's over. I have no out now. Quite literally have zero out now. Doesn't matter how I stack them, they're too low. Oh, that's unfortunate. I have two Lyras and four Tribunals and three Shalayas, but... So. We have nine ways to attempt to deal with Flyers. Plus we had two Silways, so we have eleven ways. They were all in the deck. That's the second red deck wins we've lost to. Maybe we're not a favorite versus it. Sure feel like we are, though. I just feel like we can't draw 100 lands. That eh, seems okay, Shaolin. It's an okay format. Feels like red's still just too strong to me. A lot of people are still toying with it, but it seems like you get paired versus basic mountain almost every match. Here's another basic mountain deck, for example. Four in a row. It's more than four in a row, but four in a row since we've turned the stream on. Let's we'll see if they're more aggressively slanted or if they're like Grixis or something. Looks like Grixis or something. That's fine. I'm going to play this one in case we draw Still Leaf next turn. Uh. 
Take this, that means we're probably Nicobolusing on four. Otherwise, they probably either take this or this. Yeah. Ooh, that was a good draw. Uh, I think there's a lot of variation in them right now, but they still basically all do the same thing. Like, we're killing phoenixes and a bunch of, uh, <laughs> burn. Some of them play risk factor. Some of them play, uh, like, lava coil main. Some of them are going up to Phoenix and like siege gain in the main. Some are stopping before Phoenix, just having like a experimental frenzy or whatever. But some of them are splashing Boros, going all the way up to Lyra. Some of them are just trying to get people dead with like the one two double striker and stuff. Huh. It's kind of interesting how many different builds they are of red based aggro decks going around right now. They'll, they'll, they'll get more and more narrow. I'm imagining like the Nathan slash Dan Jessup versions closer to be, or Jessup version, sorry, I forget which is which. I'm imagining their builds are closer to right, but, oh, I imagine that we're not beating this card. I'd say we're too far behind and we drew six lands in 11 or 12 cards again. So we keep drawing half of our draws lands. Like our opponent has more cards in their graveyard. Well, had as many cards in their graveyard as we did in place slash our graveyard, plus they had an additional card in their hand at the time, though we did have the one removed card. That's a good one. Galta, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's no Galta. Unless my math was wrong. Guess we're gonna put them at four and let them flip it. I don't want them to draw any cards from it, so. Could have potentially just sacked it too, but that puts us further and further away from Galta. And Galta might be the only way we can win this game. Yeah, I think Aurelia followed by Lyra is actually pretty strong. I think those two cards do a lot together. Alright, so we're versus a control deck. We finally get to try out these Dawn of Hopes. I don't know if they're going to be any good, but I am definitely interested in trying them. We'll bring in these for the same reason. We'll get rid of the majority of like our big things that require a lot of other things to be useful. Because quite frankly, if his deck's working around, we don't have these other things anyway. Never really liked Land War Elves versus Control Decks. It's always felt to me like uh, we draw them into mid game and it's like very bad for us. But like our chalets aren't very good either. So very keepable hand. It goes far to call it good. I don't call very many things hands. Well, 
a legend and a backup legend? How, what, what time? What a time to be alive! Opponent pressed F six. That's good for us. Even if they have the discard spell, we have a backup three drop now. They have a removal spell. We obviously have a lot of options. Oh, they don't have a land. That's bad for them. Maybe they have... I forgot this card was still legal. I have a Korean uh, foil of that that I believe that I did not repost on eBay because I assumed it wasn't legal. Whoopsie. Uh, I guess we'll just play the biggest one we have. I don't know what set I was thinking it was from. I'll play this one first, because I'd rather the Myria... Get uh, syncopated into Frashing Brontodon. Can't protect Outer from Essence Scatter, so. Playing two spells in a turn versus an opponent who only has two lands has to feel good. But they deal with this, this resolves for free. Or better yet, this resolves for free and the game's probably over. Be very hard for them to come back from uh, Vine Mare right now, I think. A lot of non games of magic being played. I'm going to keep Flower Power this time. We're pretty close to being able to use it as an overrun. Demand an answer in this spot. Alright, well, opponent just never drew another land. They probably have 26 or 7 as well. So that's pretty unfortunate. Well, we've beat Boros, we've beat Grixis, we lost the uh, Red Deck Wins, we lost the Red Deck Wins. Both of the Red Deck Wins matches were 2 1, though, and I thought they were winnable. I don't think our white cards have worked out very well at all. Oh, I thought I hit play, join. Uh, on the draw, we're definitely going to keep. The flower gives us another land anyway, so this is a two-land draw. The two-land draw gets absolutely wrecked by Goblin Chain Whirler. Great. Five decks with mountains in a row. Kind of hope they use a shock on this, because I'll be too scared to cast this one if they don't. So getting a card out of their hand would be nice. Really would like to have a land here. That's not a land. Like I said, a bunch of non-games being played this evening.
bye, homie. Great, they have more. We'll play this one then. And the game's now over. Too many cards. Mono red. Just mono red still. It will always be mono red. Maybe like red with a splash of white. Maybe the red Boros deck. That's like the mostly red deck that basically splashes for Aurelia. And sometimes Lyra, but... So this, this match is definitely over. We missed our land drop too many turns. You can't really play land uh, number three on turn five versus a control deck and expect to win, especially on the draw. Especially when two of the cards in our hands still can't be cast. Sure. Uh, to see a more tier one list, uh, misplaced ginger streaming a really good red list at the moment. That doesn't kill anything. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Can't play any of the cards in our hand. Will literally not let me tap this. There we go. Well, at least as of right now, they don't even know we have white in our deck. <laughs> JK. They can still flash back the other one? Wow. Attacking this first, because in case they use a removal spell, we can just use the veteran Loxodon on it. If they don't do anything, I'm just going to cast this thing. Cheaper spell first. Um, not really. Like, you have tools to where, like, sometimes you get some tokens out, and then you have, like, a Radiant Destiny, or a Veteran Loxodon, or a Benelish Marshal, or something like that. But there's just too many games that they have a removal for one of those spells, and then cast Goblin Chain Whirler, and you just lose. So that's the biggest issue. You just lose a good, good number of your games like that. And that's that's not a it's not a thing that you can do in this format. Your deck basically can't be weak to Goblin Chain Whirler, and you can't be weak to the Fairy. And you need to not be weak weak to uh, settle the wreckage. And like Green White Tokens is kind of weak to settle the wreckage, and they're kind of weak to Mono Red. But like those are the kind of like the three pillars of the format. So like you can play Green White Token decks that will win. Don't get me wrong. But, like, it's never, they're never going to be Tier 1. They're always going to be these, like, Tier 2 and Tier 3 decks that can get you a win. And even help you win a tournament sometimes. Well, that's unfortunate. Kind of surprising that they'd waste a full Essence Scatter on that one, but... So I have this thing in their graveyard. I wonder if they forgot about it. Did not forget about it. <laughs> really hate attacking Tezzeret. It's beginning of your end step too, which is a problem. 
Eh, at some point they might not have a counter spell. That is not this point though. Oh, I guess it is this point. No, not this point. I mean, they are 34 cards deep into their deck. They should be able to do whatever they want at this point and beat us. No, I don't think Stompy's up there because out of like the things I just mentioned, Stompy fails the test of beating Settled Wreckage. Like, we just never beat Settled Wreckage. And because, you know, like Botanical Sanctum's rotated and Breeding Pool hasn't, or like Breeding Pool is what we have now, like we can't even, um, we can't even try to beat it like that. We can't even like Splash Blue anymore. The mana's just not good enough. All right, well, they get the Ultimate of Planeswalker, so I guess they win. Their deck didn't really seem like it did anything that entire game, but. So we'll bring in you, we'll bring in you. I guess we'll bring in you guys. You seem pretty good versus the red removal decks. You seem pretty good here. I kind of think you guys seem fine as well. Maybe even you, maybe even you for, like, longer games, but probably not you. We're definitely getting rid of you. We're definitely getting rid of you. So, like, those are the easiest cuts. In general, I don't actually like Land Oil for matches like this. I think you draw them at, like, very awkward times. So, the real question is, do I want a Loxodon or do I want a Vivian? Um, I feel like there's some chance that they're going to have just Niv-Mizzet, and I want the Vivian because of that. Like, we still have 26 creatures, and all 26 of them attack pretty well. And then we have these things that can make creatures, so I don't think cutting two creatures hurts that bad. Losing Land of War Elf on the play might be wrong, though, because, like, sometimes we can just cast one of these on turn two and the game's pretty much over. Like, maybe that's something to think about. Eh, it's too late now. I've already submitted, but that's something to think about. Uh, we can keep this hand because we have the flower to get the second land, and like maybe we just draw a land as well. We just draw a land, and we get to do this on one and this on two. That's pretty great. If we don't draw the land, we at least still go to get to get our land. So outer ore works out pretty well for us here. Moved our attack set first. Guess we have to hope they don't have Fiery Cannonade. Eh, this survives Fiery Cannonade if they have it. Essence Gathering Node. No fiery, please. Sweet. That was not a fiery. Hmm. Decision time. You just conclave that. Let's just put power on the table. Save the conclave for something that can block. And try to put a two-turn clock on them instead. Oh, 
The laugh total doesn't seem relevant, so... This probably gets counterspelled. I'm leaving the mana up to kill this in case he has some wildness. Let's, in case there's some wildness afoot over there. Doesn't get to flip this turn, so we don't have to worry about the Thrashing Bronthodon yet. Or the Thrashing Brontha Breezy. And they're done. Yeah, right, well. This is very awkward. So they took the time to look at their card, which means that they were acting like they had a card that could help them win. And it wasn't that card, yet they didn't resolve this ability. So whatever this was, they didn't want us to see more than they didn't want to take the chance to draw whatever card that they were taking the turn for. Odd. Does anybody else find that very, very odd? Alright, we're just going to run it back. There's a chance that we should have had the land werewolves on the play, but I definitely don't think I care enough about them on the draw, because even if we do have to turn one land war into turn two, still leave Stompy, you know, they're probably going to have four essence scatters and like two to three syncopates. So it's not like... So it's like we're investing a lot into a card that, like, they deal with very easily. Anyway, so this decides whether we get our pity chest or not. I wonder if Dawn of Hope's actually good. May not be. But I'm curious, and we're going to find out. It's a pretty easy keep. They kept seven this time as well. So we get to turn two Forn here. I'm going to turn two Forn instead of Emeria because of removal spells. Yeah. If they have fiery cannonade, we're about to get so blown out. And I do think fiery cannonade is a very playable card for them. But I don't think our deck can do much more than just slam its stuff. Alright, so they had it. As expected. Or not as expected, per se, but as mentioned. <sighs> We've drawn six lands again. More than half of our draws have been lands. Seems like we're losing an awful lot of games like this. For a 22 land deck. They don't have an answer to this. It'll probably win the game. And they have the answer. When they missed the land drop, it's pretty reasonable that they have the answer. This one, however, is not as good as Vimeir. If it resolves, there's a good chance it doesn't win the game. They can just lightning coil it or have two random burn spells or, like, get to their planeswalker. All of those things, like, cleanly deal with Still Leaf Champion. They still have three spells in their hand. We have like half a spell because our spell doesn't really do much. Right, so we have to read you whenever you cast. All right, that card's going to get got. 
again. About half of our draw steps have been lands. Feel like we have to play this, and then we just die to whatever Planeswalker he plays, but it's not like we have options. Like, we would die to this if we didn't get it. Alright, this was a good draw. Hopefully they don't have the counterspell. But again, they have three cards in their hand here, so it's like pretty easy that it's a counterspell. They got rid of Search for Ascanta, which makes no sense to me since it's the best card in their deck by 10 miles. Means they probably had a Planeswalker exactly in their hand that turn. Fortunately, Vivian's not as good as their Planeswalkers, as in terms of winning the game. I'm surprised that they didn't kill that. And we drew another land. Great. Uh, hmm. I think I want this one, actually. This is the one that they have to use the down tick on, or they'll just lose to it. Like if they don't kill this, they won't win this game. So, obviously they have a million cards in their hand now. They're a lot on land, so there's no chance that the Shalai is going to survive this turn. This doesn't give haste, does it? Nope. Try one Instructable, though. Instructable can go a long way. They probably have Double Burn Spell here. I'm going to play this one first in case they kill this. Because I expect them to kill that. Gonna blink this? Interesting. Huh. Hmm. Hey JJ, what's up? I'm trying to decide what I would rather get with this. Like this card's pretty hard to beat, but their planeswalker is like pretty hard to beat too. Yeah, right, whatever. I'm just gonna cast this now. Let's see what happens. So I actually get to make a decision here with our Conclave. Fortunately, I didn't help me make a decision. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm going to get to 1-5. Green white trash master. Haters! Haters everywhere. They have so many planeswalkers in their deck that I feel like they're just gonna cast another one next turn. If I take the planeswalker. They might even have just another row in their hand. How are you guys doing by the way? The ginger quit streaming? Kinda of feel like I'm just supposed to ultimate the uh Vivian here if he doesn't attack.
they shocked for the steam vents. That's not a good sign for me. No, they're definitely attacking then if they did all that. They shock, they probably have a servile. Or like one of those counter spell thingies. Forget what it's called. Oh, you're dual watching? Fair enough. It's a good question, Shaolin. I have no idea. I do not have a foil place to have Assassin's Trophies. I ended up playing Celestine at my pre-release, even. You muted Ginger. I, I feel honored, then. I feel like I'm in really bad shape, too. Our opponent's got to draw a lot of cards this game. There are 31 cards deep in their deck. I guess we've got like a million activations off Vivian, so you could argue that we're technically deeper in the airs, but they have, uh, they're going up again. I almost just want to kill this thing with my Vivian and play this one and take it up. Something in my mind tells me I can never be right, though. There's the tribunal. So take this up. Grab these things. Play this. The Conclave resolves, I can attack their face. <laughs> I really want to get the bird. You know, it is the word. You still have a chemist in their graveyard? Yeah, they still have another chemist in sites in their graveyard. Uh, did you get to play a pre-release, JJ? I know you were talking about it, but I didn't know if you ever got to go. This is kind of scary for him to play Niv-Mizzet. No, not another Rao. That's too many Rao's. Down to one card now, though. What is your one card? I wonder if I should save this for just Tezzeret. And Vivian's done an insane amount of work this game. Are you in North Carolina now? Alright. Cool. They got another one of the one fives. One five's pretty decent versus me. I don't know how decent it is versus just like Vivian giving me two cards a turn though. So that's a legend. That is not a legend. Go go still leaf friend. They do get to jump start their thing now though. I think they're trying. I think they probably are drawing like the double cannonade. Well, never mind. They have a counter spell. For some reason I didn't think they had a counter spell. Thought their last card was just gonna be a jump. Um for a new player of MTG Arena. Just grind. I think I think building the red decks, they don't require a lot of mythics, and that's probably where I would start. I think
think they're some of the stronger decks in the format as well. Yeah, well that was a good draw. I don't think our thing kills artifacts. It does kill enchantments though. Can we finally minus this on something? Is this worth trading for just a bird? I really want to kill this. Yeah, I think I'm willing to trade that for a bird because I want to kill this so bad. I think it increases my odds too. I've not tried any of the limited. Sam Black mentioned that he'd been playing it till that he'd been playing a lot of arena since the Switch. Is it wrong just to cast this and pick it up? Yeah. It's probably wrong because now I've given them something to potentially counterspell. I didn't want to do that in different orders even though there's spell collectors in our deck because I was afraid they might be able to syncopate the last spell I played. Yeah, well, it looks like they had a thing anyway. If they killed a Vivian, though, they're going to have something. They have to have something for the board. Uh, it looks like they did have something for the board. Goodbye, Vivian. You are now wrecked, Vivian. Yeah, well, I think we pretty much are in bad shape now. I don't really want to trade those for one or no damage, but I don't want him to three block this. He doesn't get to three block it, but you know what I mean. I kind of want to get rid of one of these birds if I can, basically. Or I want to deal a point of damage so that our Still Leaf Champion has a better chance of being relevant. Ah, don't kill our Still Leaf Champion, friendo. You've already gone through two Lightning Coils and three Rowls. There's a Chemist. Down to 15 cards in their deck, too. Nope. Oh, wrecked. It'd be very hard for us to win. I actually think we might lose this game. I think we will lose this game. Can't believe we lost this game. Where did I punt this game at? I, I can't believe that I could have lost this game without making a punt. Do I even have a Still Leaf Champion left in my deck? I have no Still Leaf Champions left in my deck. So I really don't even have an out, do I? So I'm going to attack with everything. 
just to kill a bird? Throwing this away for nothing? I guess I'm throwing this away for nothing now. And ten birds. I lost this game. I don't know how I lost this game. I had to have punted this game. There's no way I could have lost this game without punting. We needed to draw one of these about an hour ago. Maybe when I cast this last conclave, I was supposed to just get the memory mists instead? Potentially? Oh well. It happens. I feel like I played that game poorly, and I don't even know where I played it poorly at. We did get a pair versus five decks in a row that had basic mountains in their deck, though. Though that one obviously wasn't aggressive. Now, this is uh, the ticket for those type of games. Hmm. I sideboarded these out. Maybe that was wrong, too. But I felt like uh, I didn't think that we'd get in that big of a stall. The turn that I minus uh, Vivian and played another Vivian could have been wrong as well. Maybe I'm just supposed to keep ticking up with it and making him deal with it every turn. Gets one more activation that way, though. That's probably not enough. Maybe I'm supposed to bring in the X5 because it takes two spells or one uh, Lyra to kill them? Or two spells or one uh, Rouseric activation? I don't know. Anyway, I got crapped on. I got smashed. Don't know exactly what I did wrong. But yeah, lost pretty hard. And that's going to be it for us today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Highly appreciate it. And go watch Misplaced Ginger. Take care, everybody, and thank you.